see if we can walk out here without slipping on the ice. Sun's out. Actually a pretty nice day today. Uh, we do have the wind blowing, so you're going to hear some wind in this. Not using the GoPro 9 or the 10. The old trusty 7 Black. They seem to be the best cameras so far. At least they keep working. Well, about half the time. We're going to walk out here to the barn and see if side to side will start. We haven't had it running since, uh, I'm going to say, October. We had it sitting out here in this barn. Hi, boys. How you guys doing today? Started off the day this morning, chemotherapy. There we are, in the catch-all here. Nice, the board fell out of the... Hey, we got power. Send crank dry it up. You are on my pocket cam, so I can't set it down here anyway. And we are out of gas. There. Hold this and I'll fast. This thing just bang. It started. Turn over once. Right on. This is a safety thing on the KRS. And if your seat belt isn't fastened, it'll only go like 15 mile an hour or something. I don't even think it'll go that. Safety first. That's right. Okay. Anything behind me? All right, we're going to do a little walk around here and just explain a few things we're getting ready to do and what Kylie's doing and some things that need to happen that haven't happened yet. Excuse the garage, it's a mess, like always anymore. But uh, what I got out here, this is a 2021 Kawasaki KRX 1000 and you know what I bought this thing with all kinds of intentions to do some things with it and take it and run it and we just haven't run it at all I think it's got 144 miles on it but uh Kylie she took it out and rode it the last time where'd you guys just ride around here just here up and down the dirt pile but of course it's clear out of gas so we're gonna get it filled up and then uh, the mighty snowmobile. See, we were going to make a video on getting it running and getting things out and stuff like that, but it just didn't happen. This thing was sitting in here. I put it in here several days ago before the big snow and uh, just got it running last night. I didn't take anything. I was surprised the battery still had power. We got the battery charge on it and have it charging, but it's ready to go. Yeah, there's oil in it. So we're going to go out and we're going to. We're going to go out and ride. Yes, we're going to go ride. Just have a little bit of fun. Started off the day this morning, like I said earlier, with chemo and I'm doing fine with it. Oh, one thing we do need to do. I have a uh, backrest. Oh, yeah. And it's going, back, it's going back on the snowmobile because since I lost all my weight and everything else, I don't have my stomach muscles like I used to to hold me up. So I'm gonna put the backrest back on that thing. Then we're gonna ride. We had a minor gas spill. Yep. The automatic shut off on the gas can didn't work. But it's all good because we got her wiped up with these rags and we're good. I forgot to talk about something when I was talking about this thing and I need to talk about it. Rick Ott. From EMP, which is Extreme Metal Products. Kylie will put the link in there. But uh, he came down, he put a windshield on this thing and uh, at the top on it. And then he called me up later and he sent me these mirrors and the mirrors are awesome. And I just want to thank uh, Rick from EMP. I got a bunch of stickers to stick on this thing so you can see it when we're running with the uh, cameras on it, but we just never got to run it this year. But we're gonna get it out now and uh, get the loader in here and pick snowmobile up and get it out. That's the plan anyway. Don't forget there's a truck behind you.
94 Yamaha V Max 600. Don't have any idea how many miles are on it. Speedometer doesn't work. It worked when I first got it. It says 4,200 miles, and we probably put three or 400 miles on it, probably for just us. So, but it's got some cracks on it. But for what it is and how much we use it, perfect. Yep. Perfect snowmobile. Starts right up. Electric start, reverse. Plus it goes fast, and that's what we like. VMAX. Just put new skis on it last year, so I don't and carbide tips. So I don't know how it's going to come off this skid. All right, we're going to try firing this thing up. Say we did, we had it running last night. She'll start. Oh yeah. Don't lose your boots. Fuel gauge is going up. Come on, baby. I wouldn't check. Felt good. Mm -hmm. It ran. All right. Is it warmed up? Not really any way to mount this, so I guess I'll just hold it. down there I could get I only got 54 mile an hour out of it. Oh, really? But I thought that was pretty good because the I snow's deeper and crap out there. Oh yeah man my thumb hurts. It's a big can am it's a beast. This thing's awesome. Don't forget about the V Max the V Max <laughs> Okay I'll get the drone. You're gonna fly? Well I, I think I need to fly. I think you should too. I'll just video you guys.
he's got a dead battery, so we're utilizing the Clark Road runway here. This thing will just flat out get it. Really? I'm gonna ram down the end. You see where the water and the ice was down there? I, I think we about got stuck in that too. Well, it broke through. Did it? All right. Alright, we're going to ram it one more time. 